Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we are going to talk in a bit of detail about the new LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku that is coming out on global, uh, technically tomorrow for me in the UK tonight, depending on where you are in the US. Basically at the time that this video goes up, 3pm UK time, the banner will be out in 15 and a half hours. 6.30 a.m. UK time is the regular time that banners release on global. So by now, if you're a regular global player, you should know when that is, right? The banners only really change during uh, joint celebrations or when something crazy is going on. So we are less than 24 hours from the release of Goku. So I wanted to do a video here where we talk about not only his best link partners, but also some of his best categories and teams to run him on. Now, some of that stuff is going to be contingent on a couple of future releases and easy A's, which you guys can probably guess which ones those are, considering which channel this is. But we will obviously talk about those a little bit later on. So, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He has Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, GT, Prepared for Battle, Saiyan Raw, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So he does have quite a lot of attack links, but obviously that is good for an LR. It also gives you that little bit of flexibility when linking him up with other characters. I mean, one of those links is GT, which obviously a bunch of the characters you might want to link him up with are not going to have. But he still has Shocking Speed and Prepared for Battle. Um, he also does get key relatively easily anyway, so very good link set. Things like Saiyan Raw, obviously once at level 10, are giving you a very large amount of attack as well as a little bit of defense. Um, and then all of his other links like Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, uh, Super Saiyan, these are obviously giving him uh, a very solid buff overall for his attack power. So pretty solid link set. And as you can see, he is on a ton of categories. GT Heroes, Full Power, Pure Saiyan, Goku Family, Giant A Power. The list goes on and on. You can see them all right there. So tons of teams that he can be run on. Um, obviously, being a Goku, he's on teams like Earthbred Fighters, Turtle School. Like, there's just, you know, he's on a ton of teams and he is very, very good. He's on Power of Wishes. Uh, so, you know, strong, strong setup. Now, the thing to talk about here straight away, you can see that he shares seven links with his transformed self. Um, so if you are running double uh, Gokus, you can only get one of them to transform, right? Because you can only use the standby one at a time. You can get the other one to transform afterwards. But once they are transformed, they can actually link together because they have the exact same link set. So not something that's necessarily going to come up very often, but this just indicates the fact that obviously their links do not change once he transforms because uh, he has a 7 out of 7 link partner with his transformed version. So going down to the 6 link partners, we have here the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Obviously it shows them and Gogeta because they also have the exact same link set, right? When they transform, their link set doesn't change. Um, so they are here to share 6 links. Uh, if we click on Gogeta here, we can see that he is sharing uh, every single link except for he has Kamehameha and uh, Goku has, um, wait, which one is it? Is it Prepared for Battle? Yeah, Prepared for Battle. So these guys share six out of seven links, which will give them a very decent amount of key and a ton of attack. The defense, obviously, because we have GT, which gives a little bit of defense. Saiyan Raw, which is good as well for the defense, as well as a nice big attack boost. Now, obviously, the LR Super Saiyan 4s, you know, they've aged a bit, right? They're over a year old. I mean, when it comes to JP, they're going to be two years old in a couple of months' time. But this unit can still be relatively good. Like, I've done, you know, challenge runs where we've used fused fighters and stuff like that. And taking these guys through, uh, LR, you know, Fusion Samasu from the red zone. Because they have type advantage over him at the very start. They have guard on the first turn, which is still a very, very useful mechanic uh, even now, right? They're stacking on their super attacks. Now, they're not the best units anymore, right? You take them into one of these tougher red zone stages. They get hit with a super attack straight away. You're going to take a lot of damage. But they can still be very good. They can put out a lot of good numbers. And once you fuse into LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, he is still very good as well. Gets tons of defense on super. Gets damage reduction with rainbow orbs. Can counter supers. So, very, very good. That'll be a fun rotation. We have LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta sharing six links with them as well. Unfortunately, both the four-year Super Saiyan 4 is pretty outdated at this point. Um, tech Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku is an interesting option. Because, obviously, he got his Easy A a little while ago. Um, but is still a very solid unit. Uh, he has the Saiyan Lineage, which he does not share with Goku. But, other than that, six out of seven links. Um, he can still be a somewhat decent unit, and this new Goku is a slot 1 unit for the most part, and this guy is not. He also requires a full power ally if he wants to get his scouter effect, 
So he can work pretty well with this new Goku. He's obviously just not the best unit in the game anymore, especially with how many tough int bosses we have. But if the next piece of difficult content that we get features a strong AGL boss, then this guy could still definitely be usable. Um, and then unfortunately, of course, you know, by now, the second year Gogeta are very much in the same boat, uh, sorry, Vegeta, in the same boat as the LR, right? Very outdated at this point. Now, when we get to five links, you can see here we have units like the transformed, or I should say standby, I guess, GT Vegeta. Uh, now, these guys are going to share uh, Super Saiyan GT, prepared for battle, fierce battle, legendary power. Pretty good set of links. They do get a little bit of defense from GT and prepared for battle. Obviously, the big one that's missing is Saiyan Raw. But, of course, once you've uh, standbyed into this GT Vegeta, he's giving 80% extra attack and some key. So, obviously, Goku's going to go crazy, right, with this guy next to him in terms of damage. And, of course, you get the invincibility of having the revival ready to go should you die on that turn. And then you drop the Spirit Bomb on their head and do a bunch of extra damage. So, very, very good. The AGL Super Saiyans... Um, um, these guys, you know, they did not age particularly well, but they do benefit from having a strong slot one partner, right? Because they want to get their supers off, they want to get built up, um, and then they can do reasonably well. I mean, they can still perform well against, like, normal attacks and things like that, so... Could be an interesting option. They don't share a ton of teams that I would necessarily want to pair them up on, but that's an option right there. Uh, LR Gohan, uh, rip the boy, first summonable LR for JP, um... Very outdated at this point. And then, of course, we've got some unawakened versions of the LRs and TURs, so we don't really care about those. And then once we come down to four links, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this section because there are a lot of characters in here. But you can see, you know, we have units like the Sword of Hope Trunks, who, again, really wants a slot two unit uh, or slot one unit so he can be the slot two unit until he gets his standby. Then we have the Boo Duo, or the Blue Duo, and the Boo Duo. They're, they're right there too. Uh, and the GT Duo. So... Three very strong uh, LR, Vegeta, and Goku cards uh, that this unit shares four links with. Um, you can definitely make an interesting setup with these guys, right? Considering the blue boys usually want to be in slot one. So you could definitely have them in slot one, Goku in slot two, and then try and use other characters that will give him those extra links like GT or Saiyan Raw so that his performance in slot two can be expanded upon. And then obviously both of the eight-year LRs are also units that do really benefit from having a slot one partner until obviously the Boo Duo go into their standby and then they can handle slot one and the GT Duo become that massive support revival spirit bomb. Uh, Vegeta and Trunks are kind of in a different position, right, where they can, you know, they want to be in slot one, but Goku can benefit, again, from having someone who is missing those couple of GT or Super Saiyan 4-centric links to link with in slot one, and then have a different character in slot three to provide those extra links. Uh, Carnival Goku sharing four links, he can obviously be a good support, good floating unit. Uh, the Bird Coup is a little bit outdated now, but again, can still have his uses. Um, we've got the Gods on here. Um, I mean, they've aged as well, if not even slightly better, depending on the situation, than the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Although, as we've already mentioned, a lot of the new tough bosses are int, which is not great for them once their guard runs out. Uh, and then we have a lot of other characters here as well. LR Gohan, Namek Goku, UI Goku is going to get his easy A during the next anniversary, most likely. Physical Godku is here. Then we have the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4s and Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Now, this is worth noting because we're still on the four links section. We know that we are getting Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito for heroes very, very soon. And it's most likely that he's going to share the exact same link set with this Vegito. Because the existing Limit Breakers, these two above him, they do not have any links that are, very, are specific to them being Limit Breaker. The only thing they really have for that is the fact that they're on full power. So the new Limit Breaker Vegito is going to share links with this guy. And then here's Broly as well with the four links. So the new Limit Breaker Broly is going to share links with Goku as well. And then, of course, remember that this guy right here himself, Physical Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, he is going to get an easy A with the Hero Celebration. And he provides support to Giant 8 Power and has a, the ability to counter super attacks. 
So if his easy A makes him good enough that you'd want to run him actually on rotation and not just as a floating unit, the rotation of Goku in slot one and this guy in slot two could be incredibly powerful. And then of course, if Limit Breaker Vegito is really, really good, you could run him on rotation with Goku, have this guy floating, and then that rotation is going to be incredibly powerful. So as you can see, a lot of very solid link partners. When we drop into three, we have a bunch of these other LRs as well. I usually don't try and build my rotations with anything less than like four links, but he does link very well with a lot of other characters. Of course, he's a Goku, he's a Saiyan, he's got links like Super Saiyan and stuff like that. So he's obviously going to link very well with these units. So those are his best link partners. I just wanted to highlight a couple of categories that I think will be the best for him in terms of making some of the toughest teams. Um, so let's switch over and have a look at those now. So the first one, of course, is going to be Power of Wishes. I mean, this is one of the best categories in the game, right? Led by both the 8th Anniversary LRs. Um, we have the uh, Kai Goku on here, Piccolo's on here, Bulma's on here. Um, you know, this unit, this category is just absolutely filled with some of the best characters in the game. Some of the strongest LRs, you know, Bulma, one of the best support units in the game. Um, when it comes to the TURs, the selection isn't exactly like insane, like off the charts or anything. But the team is just very, very strong if you have the right units. And the one thing to note, as we kind of mentioned before talking about the future releases, the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4s are on here. So I would assume since Limit Breaker Goku and Vegeta are on here, that Vegito will be on here as well. Now I'm not sure about Broly because obviously I'd have to double check the exact uh, thing for the Limit Breaker Broly because Broly just has that habit across all Dragon Ball media of, of if another Saiyan gets a form, Broly gets it too. Whereas um, I don't know if it's directly related to a wish or anything like the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta are. So Vegito should also end up being on Power of Wishes as well, um, although Broly might not. So if Limit Breaker Vegito ends up being really good, as we've already mentioned, he'll be a good link partner for Goku. Uh, he'll be on this team as well. Obviously, God Goku is one of the standout TURs that's on here. So, I mean, Power of Wishes, one of the best teams in the game already as it is. Um, you know, the full LR best six units build is pretty damn crazy. So I thought I'd get this one out of the way. I didn't want to go through all of the really obvious ones because if, you know, pure Saiyans, Goku family, Earthbred fighters, like, you know, you can build such crazy, vast and powerful teams with those that you don't need to have Goku, right, for those teams to be good. He can be good on those teams with some of the partners that you can give him. But I wanted to highlight some of the teams that I thought would be a bit more interesting uh, for him, right? So obviously one of the first big ones is Kamehameha. Now we don't have a direct 200% lead, like a carnival lead or anything like that, but there's a few good team builds that you can run, um, you know, this guy on in order to build a full Kamehameha team. Uh, some of the units that we talked about as being good link partners for him are on this team, right? With the Blue Boys, LR Gohan, um, of course, the uh, LR Super Saiyan 4s. And then if we scroll all the way down, uh, because he does it as part of his super attack counter, we have the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. So again, based on heroes, if the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito has any kind of Kamehameha, whether it's his counter, if he has one, or it's part of his super attack animation, because we know he has an active skill, which means he does also have another super attack, right? So if he gets any form of Kamehameha, he will be on this category as well. Uh, you know, units like Kid Goku, Godku. But this team can still be very good, even though it doesn't have a full 200% lead. And this Super Saiyan 4 Goku being a very, very powerful slot one unit is going to really kick off this team, right? The, you know, five-year fusions are on here who are still really good. Um, you can definitely make a very, very strong Kamehameha team, which is buffed immensely by using the... Um, using this new Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And then of course we have Full Power, which is his category, right? That's part of his leader skill that he leads uh, Full Power. So that's part of his 200% team. This features characters like all the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4s. So Broly and Vegito will be on there from Heroes. Uh, Kai Goku, Piccolo. Now Piccolo is obviously not a great link partner for him, right? But these are units that will be very, very good on that team. Um, we got units like the uh, Gohan, who underrated, I think, still to this day. Uh, the um, Gobros, uh, who want a Goku on the team in order to be at their best. 
Uh, full power, it's not the craziest team, but it definitely can be very, very interesting. And that's why units like this Goku are a lot of fun, because they buff these other teams, right? The tech Goku's on there that we talked about. Uh, well, tournament Goku's on there. Super Trunks, when he comes out for Global, he should be the next Dokon Fest after Hero. So I believe it should be early December, unless it gets put back to um, January. And even the uh, Broly and Trunks, the cool unit, the what-if unit, Dokon Story original, that will be coming to Global in the future, they're on full power as well. So a full power team, definitely could be very fun this version c goku hopefully will get an easy a in the not too distant future um so full power goku definitely good for of course a full power team and then last but not least you know all the memes are already flying around everybody commenting on the videos and on twitter about returning to monkey because here we have the giant eight power team now giant eight power depending on what vegeto or broly end up as leaders uh, leader skills it probably won't be a full 200 percent team maybe one of them will have giant eight power and something else or something else plus 30 percent to xyz so that would be kind of cool but you know making a full super saiyan 4 team has always been fun always been kind of a meme because you know we don't have a full super saiyan 4 category giant eight power obviously includes any characters that turn into giant apes but a giant eight power team with this full power goku and all the new super saiyan 4s all the limit breakers the lr super saiyan 4s like this will all just be very very fun you can guarantee that i'll be putting out a full super saiyan 14 video uh, once uh, this guy has dropped and heroes and we can go ham with those uh, you know super monkeys so it's going to be awesome so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section are you summoning for goku who are you planning to run him with let me know a team build down below in the comment section that you are most excited to use if you do pull him so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the mask ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one